This is the Panasonic Lumix DMC3D1. Now, as the name suggests, it's able to capture 3D stills and videos. And that's thanks to its two lenses and two sensors that are just here at about five centimeters apart. And we don't know too many features of this camera yet. Uh, it's got a fixed lens at 25 millimeters, although there is a digital zoom just here. Uh, with the two lenses, it's also able to shoot a still image with this lens perhaps while this one shoots video, or you can do a tele shot with this one while this one's at a wider setting. Now controls on this camera are very basic. There are very few buttons, although there's the uh, toggle here to switch between 3D and 2D shooting. Uh, the rest of the controls are pretty much on the 3.5 inch touchscreen that's on the rear. Now uh, it's quite limited in the number of features that it has, but it's very intuitive and easy to follow. Now we've seen similar compact cameras that are able to shoot 3D from the likes of Fuji Film, and the quality has actually been quite impressive. Now we'll put this camera through the same test that we put that Fuji Film camera through, but we'll also put it through our full test program that all the cameras we test go through. And you'll be able to see those results in the new year at which.co.uk forward slash cameras.